Who's eating the double cookies and cream and lasagna? Let me see because I didn't know her. Like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face when you are sleeping. My 600 pound life shows patients do eat thousands of calories a day so they can reach a point maintaining such high weights. To do that, most people don't go a day without abusing fast food. Therefore, their entire life revolves around it to the point where they care more about their fix of grease than their own health. In today's video, I'm going to cover some participants of my 600-pound life obese patients who highly argued over food. Lisa Fleming The most tough one to watch was Lisa Fleming's episode on the series, and it was one of the most shocking things ever shown in my 600-pound life. When her daughter, during her episode, revealed that she had discovered literal maggots that were living in the folds of her mother's skin, the fans' outrage over her was enormous, all thanks to her stubborn approach in manipulative ways. By the way, when paramedics stored up the wheelchair ramp outside of her home, Lisa was even seen eating a bowl of Fruit Loops in bed. In fact, as a reward for her boyfriend performing sexual favors, she appeared to keep ice cream around. When she threatened to take her own life, Dr. Now refused to take her complaints seriously and unwillingness to follow her diet in the end. It turned out Lisa was one of the rare ones who did not receive weight loss surgery. Angela Johns Angela Johns who was one of the most controversial stars in the show's history. By the way, she appeared in season 7 and shared that she felt like she was being punished like others on the show. She basically turned to food for comfort and eventually weighed in at 643 pounds. Well, by the time she sought Dr. Now's help, she was not only combative with him, in fact, she also claimed that the doctor was punishing her and called his program bullshit. Okay. I wanna say language. She also tested positive for opiate use and heady cigarette smoking and made matters worse by lying to Dr. Now about it. Dr. Now gave her an ultimatum to either go to rehab or end her weight loss journey with him after losing only 48 pounds and continuing to abuse drugs. And guess what? She chose the second option. I'm not surprised by the way, are you? Dottie Perkins Dottie Perkins, at the age of 34, appeared on the show and admitted that she has a food addiction. Not just that, she also asserted that this kind of addiction is the worst one which one can have just because you become so bound and you just need food to live. But he still couldn't stand without having a double cheeseburger, chicken nuggets and fries, without suffering too many withdrawals, despite all the facts that she already knew. By the way, initially she shared that she got to be this heavy and weighing 640 pounds. It's all because of having two kids when Dr. Now asked her about the reason behind being oversized. But when he asked about her eating habits, everything got crystal clear especially when she revealed that the real problem she literally has is saying no to pizza and sometimes cheesy burgers. I mean wow, slow claps. In fact, because of her eating habits, Dottie has to be living off, estimately more than 30,000 calories a day of junk food to gain the amount of weight she is right now. She tried to stick to the diet plan and started working on it after meeting with Dr. Now but she reverted to a diet of pizza, burgers, and pie as she never be a fan of the taste of the portion sizes of food, and especially when her 12 years old son Daniel was in the hospital. In fact, by saying that until their son Daniel didn't get better, she can't prioritize herself over him by worrying about her weight. A few weeks later everything became clear when her son got out of the hospital that she was just using her son's illness and treatment as an excuse because she was still seen ordering pizzas in mounds and chocolate chip pies. Holly Hager Holly met with Dr. Now in Houston. Just to seek his help, she was weighing over 650 pounds and she also admitted on the show that it wasn't her first attempt to get weight loss surgery. After her marriage ended several years earlier, she had been trying to shed her weight and had decided to have her stomach stapled. With the help of Dr. Now's strict diet plan, she eventually found success and struggled for the first five months in Houston. In fact, to get her weight loss surgery, she was determined to lose enough weight. But with Dr. Now's diet, she soon started to have issues and even admitted that she was having a hard time 
both following his diet and not lying about it. When she first appeared in his clinic, she even lied to Dr. Now about how much she eats daily. But Dr. Now read her the riot act and told her stamina was horrible because a 12-hour trip had taken them four days. Holly said during her third visit that it was only due to portion size underestimation. But Dr. Now didn't buy her white lies and called her a liar after which she admitted to not following the diet. James King One of the most difficult cases that Dr. Now had ever encountered on the series of My 600 Pound Life, of all the cast from season 5 and below, was James King case. At 791 pounds, he was the heaviest one and unlike other cast members, James continued to gain weight, despite all the struggles his family made, as his family had even made some huge sacrifices for him, including his daughter dropping out of school so she could take care of him. But still he was stubbornly refusing to lose weight, and that sort of his behavior upset Dr. Now and even infuriated viewers. By the way, when the doctor sent James, his daughter and his girlfriend home without treatment, it came as a mild surprise to the viewers as he was the first patient to be refused bariatric surgery on the show. The worst part about his episode was his evil girlfriend Lisa, who kept continually enabling him with junk food when she was supposed to. Her behavior was so bad that Dr. Now had to call Adult Protective Services on her, when he found out that she was the one who brought food to him in the hospital under his radar. In his follow-up episode, it was revealed that he had multiple organs failing and he said goodbye to the world. Lee Sutton and Renee Kaiser These two cast members met at a bariatric rehabilitation facility and fell in love. Since then, Lee Sutton and Renee Kaiser are in land and before appearing on the show, they were eating themselves into a dangerous situation. They were one of the few couples who appeared together on the show and even though, when their episode began, they were both able to lose weight and get weight loss surgery. Let me add that Lee Sutton had anger management issues, as eventually it became quite evident fairly early on their episode. In fact, he was totally abusive to his partner, both verbally and physically. When the situation got quite worse than ever, then Dr. Now had to send him to see a therapist to control his anger issues. But even before that incident, when Dr. Now sent him to meet a therapist, he had also criticized Lee more often than not because he got annoyed and couldn't stand Lee's unbelievable excuses for why he hadn't been losing weight. In fact, Lee mainly said that he didn't want to be malnourished. So to that Dr. Now only had to say, Do you look like you're malnourished? Shenny Murray Every now and then, there always comes a patient on my 600-pound life who isn't quite mentally ready to start his or her weight loss journey. This was the same case with Shenny Murray Hopkins who appeared during Season 6 of the series. When fans saw how Shenny acted throughout her episode, they quickly became outraged. Not just that. She was never approved for weight loss surgery since she refused to follow the diet and exercise plan given by Dr. Now. Shenny's husband was even seen smuggling pizza and burgers to her hospital room, and were even caught red-handed which definitely pissed off Dr. Now. After being cancelled from the weight loss program, since then Murray has posted numerous videos on her YouTube channel claiming to have lost weight. Stephen Asante The Asante brothers only appeared on the show because their father was worried about his sons, Stephen and Justin that they would die of their weight before he said goodbye to the world because of his old age. With the almost 800 pounds, Stephen was probably the more challenging case because of his debatable behavior apart from being morbidly obese. Well, not just that, if Stephen wasn't secretly binning through takeout, he also had a problem as he was addicted to drugs. He was just pretending to be fit for undergoing Dr. Now's strict diet regimen, and was constantly trying to force Dr. Now to give him pain medications and even once caught stealing his brother Justin's killers because of his addiction. Because of his food and drug addiction, Dr. Now had to cut him off from the weight loss program and not just send him straight to drug rehab. Steven is even seen continuing to shock the viewers by posting all kinds of strange and weird videos on his Facebook account not long after the show. Nonetheless, concerning his weight and his life, he eventually managed to come to his senses and made remarkable progress.
Well, that's all guys for today. With my 600 pound life obese patients who highly argued over food. Thank you for watching the video. And if you guys found it interesting, I would much appreciate it if you comment down below about the video and leave the thumbs up. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for getting updates related to our latest videos.